Hello there. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to prevent toast delays so that your latest toast is displayed immediately. If you have an app where you make toast frequently in short intervals, you may notice a, display, a delay in displaying these toasts. For example, I have a button over here that I'm going to click to increase the variable by one and display its value. You can see that when I click it rapidly and repeatedly, it takes a while for the latest toast to be displayed because it waits until the previous one is done displaying in order to display the latest one. And this behavior is problematic if you have something like an app over here, which is my irrigation app. And over here, when I tap on the uh, button, you can see that I immediately adjust the angle and shows the latest toast displaying the correct angle and rotation. So there is no delay in displaying those results of the variable. And that's what I'm gonna show you in this tutorial. So to get started, what you want to do is just maybe have a button or something that you can click to display a toast. And I'm gonna go ahead and create a, a function for displaying toast. And it's gonna accept a string as the parameter, which will be the message that a toast displays. Then I'm gonna say uh, t equals toast. We'll actually have to create my object. I'm gonna make it a global object. Um, and I'll explain why in a sec. So now I'm gonna say t equals toast on make text. And this is where I'm actually gonna make my toast. I'm gonna to pass in the application context, the string. And I'm gonna to say toast.length short. I'm not going to say dot show like I did over here because before I create the toast, what I want to do is check if toast, if, the, if t is not null, then what I want to do is cancel it. For example, if the user clicks the, clicks the button over here and it makes a toast, if there already was a toast that was created earlier, what we're going to do is cancel it and make a new toast using this new string that we received. So that's the purpose of having this global variable over here. We can cancel the toast and then make a new one. So in order to actually show the toast, all we have to do is say t.show. And now I can just come to my function over here, the onClick method, and replace it with make toast counter of zero. And I can just say something like uh, value and concatenate it. And I'll run this. When you run the app, you should see the button over here. And when you click on it, you should see values one. And then when you click on it repeatedly and quickly, you should see the value updating quickly in the toast because we're canceling the previous toast and then making a new one. So in this tutorial, you learned how to make toast without delays by canceling the previous toast and then displaying the latest one. I hope you found this tutorial useful and as always, share the channel with friends and don't forget to subscribe. You can join the IJ Apps Discord server to ask me questions and communicate with fellow Android developers.